Good evening everyone. This is Carolyn Muncy from Ransom Drillix and we are on here tonight. I come on every other Friday night and normally you guys I come on at 7. So please excuse me for being a little late but life happens, right? I uh, had the opportunity that my neighbors are wanting to buy my home so I had an appraiser coming in and they were supposed to be here at 4.30. I go on live at 7. I thought, well, that's plenty of time. Well, they changed it to like 5.36 and there was no way. So let me know when you come on. Let me know who's on here. Say hi. Uh, let's see. I forgot to turn my notifications off. Um, been one of those days. So I've been running around with a chicken with their head cut off trying to get my house ready. Plus knowing I had a live. And, uh, but we are here now at nine o'clock. Uh, next time it'll be at seven, regular time, every other Friday night. And I'm so glad you've joined. Um, you are actually in my bedroom. So I very seldom as painters, we're kind of like carpenters, aren't we? We uh, end up not doing stuff for ourselves. We end up doing it for everyone else, right? It's the carpenter that never has his house fixed. It's the painter that never paints their home. Uh, it's the furniture painter that never paints something for themselves, right? Well, I've kind of quit doing that. I am definitely painting for myself uh, because we want to make our homes just as beautiful as someone else's, right? So as you guys come on, let me know you are on. And uh, who's watching? We've got quite a few watching here. And my kids keep talking back and forth. Okay, so look, here we go. I'm going to show you what we're going to work on on this bench. Well, it's not a bench. It's an old cedar chest. You know, you open it up and got blankets and this that and the other in there and this is at the bottom of my bed and I will show you let me lift you up a little bit I'll show you my bed and look what's on my bed you guys is she like the most adorable thing in the world she um her name is Lily Hope and she was going to go to a puppy meal I saved her, and I don't need another dog, you guys, but hey, what can you say when someone calls you and say, hey, it's going to go to a puppy mill, and you go, I can't let that happen to that baby, so anyway, so here we go, I wish my kids would shut up <laughs> for once time in their life, right, so anyway, um, we have got, I've painted this in Dixie Belle linen, French linen, and I've already got one Prima transfer on here, uh, and I can't remember the name of it. I'm thinking it's Chateau. It's one of the earlier ones that had the really, really pretty roses on it, and I had one left, but this one I absolutely love, you guys. I love the colors. I love everything about this transfer, and it is called Wondrous Floral. I don't know, it might be backwards for you guys. Those of you who are on here, let me know um, who's on here. Say hi, say hi, and tell me where you're from. So anyway, we are going to redo this little puppy a little bit. I just wanted to add a little bit to this. I wanna show you, those of you who never saw my hand-painted um, arm wire, pathway and let me switch you if I can over here and you can see the Prima transfers even though I hand paint I also love to use my transfers um, and you can kind of see it's called my pathway and you see the pathway there it's a, it's a uh, arm wire I absolutely love it and it's to remind me that I'm on a new pathway transfers down here um, that I kind of embellished a little bit and we're going to do a little bit of that tonight. Did you know that you can hand paint your Prima transfers that you don't have to really just leave them uh, alone, right? You, you can do whatever you want to do, right? Hi Heather, hi Estelle, how are you this evening? 
So it's a Friday night. People are busy. But here we go, you guys. So look at this transfer. Look at some of the colors. Now, I've got a lot of pinks in my bedroom. I've got a lot of creams um, in my bedroom. And so I want to just embellish. Here's a beautiful cream rose that I'm going to use. This Probably this whole section here. And then I absolutely love this look at that isn't she beautiful this is just a beautiful transfer you guys and then you've also got those deep purples and and i love this so you guys let's get going on this because we don't have a whole lot of time and i might only get to one side but i do want to show you that uh, we can take transfers and we can make them what we want them to be and i'm always if you want to call it preaching i'm always preaching that to you guys is that these transfers are not meant to put you in a corner are they they are meant to be a blessing and they are meant for you to take them and do your own vision with them and that's why you can take a piece like this and you can probably get two to three um, different pieces, you know, or diff yeah, you know, two or three different types of projects just out of one transfer. People say, oh, they're expensive. They really are not, you guys, because what happens as you use them, um, you can use them and just add to them and make make your own make your own idea and vision of what you want and i absolutely love that deep ro rose that that it's just i don't know it's kind of like a plummy purpley and i don't have any of that in my room and i think i would like to add a little bit of that in here so i you've got when you're doing a transfer you got the top and you've got your part where your rose is and then this part here is very sticky and that is what you transfer on so i'm going to lay this to where i feel like it's going to go over here now everyone does things just a little different and that's perfectly fine some people might rub this first. Some people might rub the corners first. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's just that you do it, right? And um, I always like to start, especially a piece like this, I like to start in that crease and make sure that I'm getting that crease really well. Now, let's say, and I can already tell that this crease um, I can, I can see that it didn't go down all the way. So what do you do about that, Carolyn? Is your transfer ruined? Absolutely not. It is not ruined at all. Because you know what? That's where you come in and you can hand paint this and you can make it work. And that's what I love about these. Now, it could be that it released underneath, and that part is released. I think that's what happened, actually. Um, and this is not released. Now, when you're working with the transfer, once you've got it adhered, sometimes you might have a little space that doesn't want to adhere. And, um, like, right here having a hard time adhering but there we go it did yep that's what happened you guys it went down in that little space but now you can see right here transfers to wallpaper because what happens is you rub your
your first area that you come to and you follow the curvature of whatever piece that you're on. And when you're on a corner, let me grab this out here like this. Hi, Suzanne. Um, when you do this, it really makes, I'm gonna lift that up just a tad because I haven't really rubbed it very much. Okay. Um, so when you follow the curvature of whatever you're doing, let's say you're doing a drawer, follow the curvature of that drawer and just keep pressing and it will adhere, I promise. And sometimes you have a part that doesn't adhere and all you do is you go back and let me get on my knees so I can see what I'm doing here on this curve like this. and then I'm just going to press it. Once I get this up, I normally like to go back and just gently press and make sure that everything is down well. And sometimes you'll lift it and part of your transfer is coming up and you go, oh my goodness, did I ruin it? Nope, you didn't ruin it. You just go back, you lay it back down and you press harder until it transfers. That's why we call them a transfer. You're transferring one uh, image to another piece. They're wonderful tools, you guys. And um, it's a quick, easy way of becoming an artist, right? We all want to be an artist. Most of us who are on this page, we have those those inclinations and sometimes we think oh no I can never paint that rose well I hate to tell you you probably could if you tried but isn't it wonderful that you can use these and you can become your own artist um, the beauty to me of these transfers is the fact that number one they're easy number two I like individuality. So let's say you've seen this wondrous transfer a hundred times, okay? And you say, well, that's wondrous transfer, but what can you do to make that transfer your own? Well, for me, I like to hand paint them whenever I get them all on and I see what I'm doing, there you go. Just so pretty on that corner. Hi, Owen. Um, just really, really pretty. And I don't want a lot on this because I've got a lot going on in my room. So I just want some subtlety that's going to go in this area. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how you can take this transfer and we might just get to this one guys who knows take this and make it my own how can I do something to this to extend it along the way and what I love about this is Prima also has what we call uh, impesto paints they have all kinds of paints you guys that you can hand paint whatever you want let's say in your whatever you're doing you have a little deeper rose that this is pinky and you want it a little deeper you know what you can do you can paint it that way you can sure enough just take 
your stuff and and your your paints they have all kinds of these they're uh, metallic paints in these little pots you guys prima has about everything you need there's purples and pinks and about any color that you would palette that you would like to do and i'm hunting for my palette and i just saw oh here it is so what I want to do is I want to get a little bit of this impasto paint. I've got a pink color. Sometimes if I haven't used them in a little while, I take off the lid. You don't need a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all. You normally use more white than you use anything else. Okay, so I figured out that they didn't really have, I didn't really have on hand the green I wanted. I do like that green, and it, this is Victorian green. I do like that light, that kind of almost a celery green. And here you've got this pretty color, and isn't that pretty? Uh, and that is liquid acrylic, and it's carmine. That's the name of this one. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to put me out just a little dab of different colors here. This one is avocado green. Okay. Um, but if you mix yellow and, and blue, let's see what we get here. Let me find me just a little. Oh, my goodness. Just rub my face in that magenta. It's almost a magenta color. Well, good gravy. I think I got it. I might have a little bit on it. On my face when you guys see me, I don't know. So anyhow, I'm just going to come up here, get me a little blue and a little yellow. That's what's, these are your primary colors. So you can make whatever color you want. Now that's a little bright for me, so I might tap into that avocado and come down here and just kind of um, make that let's try a little bit of this magenta too and let's just make that more of a darker color here a little more yellow there all right all right let's see what we've got here so i'm going to Come in here and remember how sometimes you have that halo effect around your your um, uh, transfers there's many ways to get rid of them sometimes you can use um, zero 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 still wool and just kind of go in there you know there's a lot of little sanding pads you can come in and you can get rid of it another way you can do it you guys is just Add, let's add a little darker paint here and this is our green and we're just going to snazz up a little bit of, of this transfer and I'm going in to in and out of darker lighter colors and as that dries that's going to give me the feel of a hand painted um, piece um, and, and that's what I love to do with these transfers you guys <clears throat> so now my transfer is going to stop right here so what if I would want it to go down here well all I have to do is go in here and just add add me some leaves <clears throat> and I'm going to elongate this whole transfer And I might want to get me some brown. And you say, well, Carolyn, I couldn't do that. You can't do it unless you try. If you say, I can't, then no, you won't ever be able to do it. But I promise you, you can do it. And you can make your own design. I'm going to get me a little, kind of a little pointy type uh, 
um, liner brush and I'm gonna go in here just gonna make me just some little leaves and you know the little stems you know that or the little I don't know what you call those and we're just going to jazz that up just a tad maybe let it come outside of its bounds a little bit and then I'm going to go into the brown. I'm going to get a little water on my brush because I want this paint to be. I want. I put a little water into this chocolate brown, the impasto paint, because I want it just to be a little bit runny. And then I'm going to come here, and I'm just going to allow that to go over my edges and by doing that what have I done I've come in here and I have said you know what I love this transfer this transfer is beautiful but I want it to extend a little bit but I don't necessarily maybe want to add you know a whole lot of florals and the other thing you guys can do too is always you can easily mix easily easily mix your patterns let's say you find a little floral or a butterfly let's say you find a little butterfly and you say oh I love that butterfly but I don't want to use that whole pattern then you take your butterfly and you use it where you want to use it you can open it up to do whatever you want to do you are the artist and in this in this uh, scenario I can come back in I can even add let's see I thought I had a really pretty pink here I wonder did I grab it got that uh, here's the pink let's say you open up a color and it's not exactly what you want this pink isn't exactly what I want so what am I going to to switch back you guys how in the world did that happen I'm looking for the switch I am so sorry I've never done that before in my life okay, maybe do that I don't know you guys I am just pressing buttons because I have never done this I don't even know what to press to get it back. Oh my word. What in the world? Oh, there you guys are. I don't know what I did, you guys. So let me flip us back. Something crazy. Hate when that happens on a live. I don't know what I did. I hit something goofy. That's the thing about these phones is they have so many buttons on them. You hit the wrong thing and it takes you somewhere you don't want to go. I hate that. So anyhow, we're going to run in here. So let's say you have a pink and I have this kind of a bright pink color and I don't want that bright pink color, right? I want to mute it down a little bit. I want to lighten it. So I'm going to put some white in there. And then maybe I'm going to go into this magenta a little bit and just add a little bit of that color and maybe even a little tad brown and just mute it just a tad. I like that color. It's almost like um, a mauve almost like that color right there, you know, almost is. So I want to come in here and I just want to add a little bit of interest to all of this stuff that I'm doing. And you can see I'm haphazard, I'm free with it, and that's the beauty, you guys, of hand painting um, and adding to your transfers is that you can just be free and you don't have to worry too much about too much. 
just let just let your imagination go it's just paint let's say you mess up and you don't like it what do you do paint over it that's all you do because it is just paint I'm going to come back up here to this brown and you can see these and I think I need a little more brown so I want to make these just a little more vibrant. So I'm coming into the brown and all I'm doing, you guys, is just adding, just adding a little bit. Maybe I wanna get rid of that halo there. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna add just a little bit to that. And if you have any questions, please ask them. And I will answer them when I see them. And if not, and if I get busy and I'm not answering them or I don't see it because sometimes that rolls up and you can't see, I always go back and I always answer all the questions you guys would have on hand painting, on, well, on anything on the transfer. So, so you can already see that we've allowed this to go this way, you know, because I want it to be more like it's coming, you know, coming around. Let's say this rose right here. Let's say I want to just kind of bring that rose up just a tad. Maybe I want to have a little more vibrancy in that rose. Just a little, not a whole lot. All I gotta do is go in and just add, just add a little bit of the own, of your own color that you like, that maybe is gonna tie in to some of the colors of your piece or what you're doing. That's what I always say about these. These are not to put you in the box. You know, I, I read a comment um, the other day and someone said well if you've seen a you know if you've seen one transfer you've seen them all that is not true you guys they are not to put us in a box they are to open up a value toward us and and uh, they're to open up an avenue that maybe we can't get there by ourselves but you know what we sure can work it and we sure can use these to the best of our ability. And I'm gonna add some pink right through here. And these roses are so beautiful on their own. A lot of times I don't even add a lot. Sometimes I'll come in and I'll add a highlight so that you can really see where the, um, where maybe that lip is. Can you see that? It really makes it, really kind of makes it come alive a little bit more to where it looks like a, a hand, it, it quits looking like a transfer and begins to look like a hand painted piece. Because in a way it is, you're hand painting it, aren't you? We just need Prima to give us a little help sometimes, right? So, and here's what I'm going to do. We're just coming in here, having some fun here. All right, so I see all these. I love those little flowers. I don't know what they are, but I really, really love them. But I want them to look a little more natural. You know, a little more hand painted. So I'm just going to come in with a little bit of Prima's chocolate brown. And there's two things that I'm doing by doing this outline like that. I'm taking away the halo effect. And I'm adding um, an effect of making it look more hand painted. And sometimes you want them not to look that way but on this I do because I hand painted that piece behind me so I think that I want this also to reflect what I did back there now that was all hand painted except for the transfers you saw around the door 
those of you who came on late, you can go back once I stop and you can see what there is. So you can kind of see, I don't know if, if this makes sense to you guys, but or if you can see very well, but this is losing the look of a transfer. Now I'm adding down in this dark, I'm adding a little bit of lightness so that this rose is looking a little more hand painted. And sometimes you get these little cracks. I don't know if you guys can see them. Let me get you down here. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Sometimes you get these little cracks right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can just take, blend your color as close as you can get it, and you can just voila that's gone that's totally gone and this rose uh, if you could see it in person it might not look i'm going to put a little more highlight through there it's it's really beautiful and i'm just all i'm doing is adding just a little bit of highlight so that it looks a little more hand-painted. How fun is that? That's really fun. I love that. Okay, let's see. If you've got any questions, please ask me. Hi, Deborah, And hi, Karen. So glad you guys are watching. And you just continue around here as you see things. All right. So we've got that pretty kind of maybe where I want it a little bit. I'm going to maybe add some of these pink little, I don't know what these are. I always make them and I love them. I don't know what they are, but I like them. Little tendrils look, look kind of like, um, you know, just little bitty tendrils that come out. And I like to do them all different kind of colors so that you, like this is kind of that sagey green maybe come in with a little bit of darker that avocado dark green bring it around here and maybe you want to add I don't know maybe you want to add a flower here we've got I see right here we have got a little rosebud right there Maybe I want to make that rosebud just stand out just a little more. I want to go into that magenta. Maybe I want it just a tad bit bigger. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to blend that. Blend that in. And I tell you something else, you guys, I love to do is Prima has a product, and I didn't grab it before I came down, but Prima has a product called Diamond Dust. If you have not ordered some, you need to get some because I can, once this totally dries, what I can do is I can come along and I can just put little things of the Diamond Dust through here and it gives it this iridescent, really, really, really pretty look. I'm going to add a little bit of light there. So that gives this just kind of a neat look. All right. So we've kind of redone that. So they have, let me see what else we have on this. Now I can add, let's say I wanted to add a floral here. Right here on this, there's this little pink flower that I think would look really, really pretty there. And I'm going to take it off. I'm going to cut it out and we're just going to add us 
a little bitty flower right coming through here. Maybe like it's coming out. And I want to show you this. It is half, right? There's part of that floral that isn't there. So what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this and add it right there. And then I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and you can hand paint this. So that that flower looks complete you could cut it to where it joins you know because it does join on a different sheet but you can also take your flower let me get this down real good all right so you can see that's kind of coming out. So all I gotta do is I gotta go in here and take my paintbrush and just add that flower. Is it gonna look exactly like this one? No, but that's, you know, I mean, you can get it pretty daggum close. You can add a little bit of the color down here, let's add a little there, and voila, there you've got it. And I think this needs a little bit of grounding here because you've got, got some of this darker venue coming like you can see here. And I think that looks pretty. I'll just add a little bit of that color down through here, and then you've got that leaf right there. So let's take a little bit and let's add, let's add a leaf and let's make this leaf match. Give me a little bit of brown wherever it's at. So you guys, you are the artist. You are the one that can do and make things go the way you want to make them. And that is the beauty of these transfers. That's the beauty of making them, making them the way you want, what your vision says. Now, sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes they're just so beautiful. To, and this is just beautiful the way it was. All I wanted to do was add it a little bit so that, and I'm just going to come in here with uh, the pink and this linen color and I'm just going to add almost like there's just a few few little buds coming through here and it's that easy and I don't want a bud coming up here or some type of floral looking thing it's that easy, you guys. So I hope I will continue to keep working on this. And I'll probably add some more. And I will hopefully um, be able to take a picture and show some of the things that we've done and accomplished tonight. So I want to wrap you up. So have added that and we've added this in to make it more to go here and then maybe I might even do I'll do something on the other corner also and they'll join together so I hope you've enjoyed this and you guys have a blessed night and I will see you another time it'll probably be in a couple weeks so I'll see you later bye bye